All right, we're here with uh, Charles Wolf again. He won the uh, 300 hurdles, uh, won the 110s earlier. Had a little bit of a spill there at the end. What happened there? Oh, no. My leg just gave out on me, and I just went down. It sounded like you said, oh, no, as you were going down. Because yeah, I could feel my <laughs> I could feel myself going down. <laughs> but I was trying to like, hold myself up, but my leg was just like, nope, you're going down. And I just fell. Well, you're done for today, right? Yeah, so I'm finished. Oh, so then you're you're good. You don't need your leg anymore, right? Nope, <laughs> not for a while. So what do you what do you uh, plan to do now that, that you won everything? Go celebrate. That's what I wanted to do. My goal was to break the state record. I didn't get it. It happens. But now my goal is to like after my whole college thing is over, hopefully I could go pro and then come back and then train somebody to break that record. Now, there's a guy uh, going pro right now in the NFL. Looks a lot like you. Used to hurdle. Is that, is that a possibility? The NFL? Yeah, maybe uh, you could be the next uh, RG3. Uh, I mean, track wise, that'd be nice because he was fast. But football is not my thing. So, well, de track definitely is, and uh, nice job tonight. Thank you. Could I say one thing real quick? I wanted to thank my coaches and my coach Baker. Coach Corbin, Coach Nolly, Coach Jones, Mr. Braxton, my all my AU coaches, Coach Renee, Coach Anton, Jerome, because they really helped me push myself. Even when I got hurt, they really didn't give up on me, and I wanted to say thank you. And also the other coaches in the DIAA that like gave me advice, like the coach from AI, the charter coaches, pretty much everybody who's had anything positive to say, I just want to thank them. Well, congratulations. It was fun to watch you. Good luck in the future.